Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and today we will be talking about the Always On Display feature for the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. So the Always On Display is actually a screen that is right before your lock screen on your Samsung Galaxy device. The purpose of the Always On Display is actually to save your phone battery. It's a way to be able to check out little notifications at the very front, as well as the date and the time if you have it set up for that, without you actually turning on the entire phone. Mostly, everybody would actually turn this entire phone on about 150 to 200 times a day just to check out the time or see if they get a notification. So with Always On Display, this will actually save you from doing that that many times in a day, which will result into saving you your battery. So let's actually go into the settings for the Always On Display. Just so you guys know, if you pull down the notifications panel on the very top with one finger, it'll just kind of show you some of the quick different settings. You have to pull it down one more time to actually open up the entire grid or the whole panel of the rest of your settings. The other thing you'd be able to do is pull down with two fingers and then this way you'd be able to actually open it up right away going without having to pull it down twice. So always on display is on the very top up here and this is where you'd actually be able to on the very top right hand side for the menu. You can actually go into Samsung themes. It's a store where you'd be able to download more of these always on display panels or screens. So if any of these clocks or dates and times or photos is nothing that you're looking for, you'll definitely find it inside of the Samsung themes store. This is where you'd be able to turn it on or turn it off. Also the content to show, this is where you'd be able to have that home button that was on the bottom that you guys saw here a little bit earlier, along with the clock or the information. If you don't want your home button, you actually just click on that option for clock or information. And then you also have the option for home button only. So let's actually go to the very top because I actually like the home button as well as having a clock or information. Inside of here, once you choose on one of those options, you can actually go into the clock style. So if you're looking for clock, there's several different ones that you'd be able to actually choose from and a lot of them that you would still have to download. You'd also be able to go into color. So if you would like to change the color of what your clock is looking like, those right there will be your options. And you have the analog clock in the middle, world clock. Here is your calendar. So if somebody says, hey, let's do something on the 21st, and you always have to look at the calendar to see exactly what day that is, which actually I'm one of those folks, then the calendar right here will be something for you. You also have the options for image. You'd be able to put an image right inside of there. So you'd have your image on the always on display and the edge clock. So this way you'd have actually, instead of taking up the screen in the middle, it'll just be on the edge. And again, you can change the position for left or right side. And then the colors, just like from before, you'd be able to choose what color you would like to show. So there's another piece to the always on display that I would like to show you guys. And it is actually not within this screen right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon. You'll go down to where it says lock screen and security. Halfway down, you're gonna see the option for lock screen and always on display. So right here, you have the option for information and face widgets. So a face widget is actually another addition to your uh, always on display you'd be able to turn on. So you have the music controller, today's schedule, and next alarm. You'd also be able to reorder them. So if you wanted the today's schedule to actually come up right after you know, your date or the time, you'd be able to have it that way. But let's actually put the music controller first. So let's go back into the always on display. And what will happen now is it'll show me the always on display. If I was to double tap on that little clock or the time, there is my music controller to where I'd actually be able to play the music right away. If you leave it alone, it'll actually go right back to your date and the time or the normal uh, always on display that you chose. Here is the options for your calendar, for events if you have anything scheduled, and then also your very next alarm. So you'd actually be able to check out some information and also play a song right from your always on display without even getting into your device. So I hope that this video has helped you guys out. Make sure you guys hit on like and also subscribe. That like button is right below this video down here. It'll definitely help me out. Also, if you wanna make me feel good and happy, Right over here, you have the option to where you'd be able to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And then over here, you're going to have a couple options. You'd be able to next watch the very next video and also the playlist for the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. And I'll see you guys later.